don't know. Oh my gosh. This is Michael Scherf. He's a comedy writer that has worked on, produced, and created some of the most beloved, rewatched, and quoted comedies of the last 20 years. He's created dozens of memorable characters that live on in some of the most dedicated fan bases around, even though some of these shows ended years ago. He's been successful in pretty much every project he's been attached to, which is why he's one of the biggest names when it comes to creating hit TV shows. Today I want to take a look at how we started in comedy and how we came to work on and create some of the best shows ever made. Michael Schur was born in 1975 in Ann Arbor, Michigan to his parents Warren Schur and Ann Herbert. While he was born in Michigan, he grew up in West Hartford, Connecticut, where he attended William H. Hall High School. Schur had an interest in comedy from a young age and that continued when he went to college, becoming the president of the famous humor publication, The Harvard Lampoon. While attending Harvard, he graduated with a bachelor's degree in English. After graduating from Harvard, Schur auditioned to become a writer on Saturday Night Live and was initially rejected from the role. However, he was called back after longtime member of the cast, Norm MacDonald, and some of his writers behind his weekend update segment were infamously fired. Schur's first show on the job as writer was also the first since the passing of legendary SNL comedian Chris Farley. Schur has said that with everything happening in the show at the time, he was largely unnoticed for his first year or so that he worked there. Schur was eventually promoted to producer of the Weekend Update segment of SNL, and his first show in the role was once again overshadowed by tragedy, as it was the first show since the September 11th attacks. Schur, along with the entire SNL writing team, won an Emmy in 2002. After six seasons on SNL, Schur decided to leave the show. After leaving SNL, he signed on to be a writer and executive producer of the TV show The Office. This was to be an American adaptation of the classic British comedy created by Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant. It was being helmed by fellow Harvard graduate and SNL alum Greg Daniels. Schur stayed on The Office as writer for the first five seasons. He himself wrote 10 episodes including standouts such as Christmas Party, Traveling Salesman, The Return, and Dunder Mifflin Infinity. In addition to being a producer and writer on the show, he was playing the reoccurring role of Dwight's cousin Mose, who appeared infrequently throughout the show's entire run. Schur said that he hated playing the role, citing the hot and scratchy beard he had to wear coupled with the long outdoor shoots in the hot California sun. Schur was given the role by showrunner Greg Daniels because he quote, thought it would be funny to annoy him. Schur was one of several writers on the show who were also actors on the show, even though his appearances as Moe's weren't as frequent as that of B.J. Novak, Mindy Kalin, or Paul Liebenstein in their characters on the show. All of them have said that they were hired first as writers, not expecting to act on the show. Midway through the fifth season of The Office, Schur, along with Daniels, began working on another show that would eventually become Parks and Recreation. Parks and Recreation initially began when NBC executives asked series creator Greg Daniels and Michael Schur about the possibility of creating a spin-off to The Office. With Rashida Jones' character Karen being a hit, but having her role on the show essentially ended, NBC thought a series focusing on her and another branch of Dunder Mifflin could work on its own. What Daniels and Schur settled on wasn't that. In what they described as a mockumentary version of The West Wing, after deciding on this concept, the pair had to find actors for the lead character they'd created, Leslie Nope. And Schur only had one actor in mind when writing this role, his old friend from his SNL days, Amy Poehler. Schur was so convinced that Poehler was the one for the part, that they turned down NBC's offer to air the first episode after the Super Bowl, because Poehler was due to give birth the week they would have had to shoot the pilot to make that window. For the role that eventually became Ron Swanson, Schur remembered an actor that had initially auditioned for an episode of The Office, and while Nick Offerman didn't get that role, Schur had made a post-it note about the actor that he had stuck to his computer and decided that he was perfect for this new project. Like The Office before it, Parks and Rec became one of the most beloved and critically acclaimed comedies of its era. After Parks and Rec wrapped up its seven season run, Schur was already looking ahead to his next big project. 
along with Dan Gore, who served as writer, director, and producer in Parks and Recreation, and has known Schur since their Harvard days together, decided to create what would become Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Their goal was to bring a similar type of group comedy dynamic as Parks and Recreation to a police station, a setting that they felt had been severely underutilized in comedies. Unlike when creating Leslie Nope, Schur and Gore didn't have a specific performer in mind when creating the lead character Jake Peralta, but instead based the ideas for the character off Hawkeye Pierce, the wisecracking doctor from M.A.S.H. Before getting the part, Andy Samberg wasn't interested in returning to the grueling production schedule of television after leaving SNL to pursue movie roles. This changed, however, when he heard that Michael Schur was looking to create a new show. Samberg was a huge fan of Amy Poehler and Parks and Rec and was eager to join the project in a similar type of role. To fill out the rest of the cast, there was a mix of set ideas for parts and creating as they saw fit. For example, the role of Terry Jeffers was always meant to be played by Terry Crews, going as far as to name the character after him so he would always have to think about it if he turned it down. Whereas Rosa Diaz came from Stephanie Beatrice auditioning for the role of Amy, likewise Gina was created when Schur learned that Chelsea Peretti, who had worked on Parks and Rec as a writer, was available. Schur and Gore co-wrote the series pilot and Schur himself wrote the episode Operation Broken Feather as well as directing multiple episodes throughout the series. Schur's direct role in the creation of the series diminished as he moved on to his next project, The Good Place, and while he tries to be as involved as possible, providing writing notes, going through read-throughs, he himself has said that it is Dan Gore's show. Schur would serve as the sole showrunner and the creator of the new show, which was based on moral philosophy and what it means to be a good person. When creating the concept for The Good Place, Schur found himself driving around LA trying to observe what he called annoying behavior, and thought about what it would be like if that behavior was assigned points. Schur initially wasn't confident in his pitch, but after talking it over with Damon Lindelof, creator of such shows as The Leftovers and HBO's Watchmen, Schur decided to run with it. When it came to casting this project, Schur called up Kristen Bell whom he had known since his SNL days and had previously made guest appearances on Parks and Rec. The two met for lunch and talked for hours about what it meant to be a good person, and afterwards she got the job. Schur next recruited Ted Danson for the project by explaining the concept. Reportedly only Danson and Bell were told what the show would be, and most of the other actors auditioned with fake scenarios and no concept of what the show would be about. Over the show's next four-season run, Schur would once again serve as writer, director, and producer for various episodes, as well as being the overall showrunner for the project. Schur has also been creatively involved with other projects, big and small, over the years. He co-wrote the episode Nosedive of Black Mirror, starring Bryce Dallas Howard, with Parks and Rec star Rashida Jones. He created a baseball-focused podcast called The Pawscast with former Sports Illustrated and Kansas City Star sports writer Joe Posnanski. He has also served as an executive producer for Parks and Rec alum Aziz Ansari's Netflix show Master of None. In 2020, he started a new project with fellow Office alum Ed Harris, who also stars in the show, called Rutherford Falls, which airs its first season in 2021. In terms of accomplishment over his vast amount of work, Michael Schur has been nominated for 14 Emmys, winning two, one during his time in SNL, and one for The Office. The Office, Parks and Recreation, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and The Good Place are collectively some of the most critically acclaimed and popular comedies of all time, all with their own dedicated group of die-hard fans who continue to re-watch and love every second of these shows. They feature beloved characters and settings and some of the most quotable lines in TV history. And all of these shows were touched in some way by Michael Schur. All of the praise doesn't just go to him. These shows were made by lots of people both in front of and behind the cameras. And these collective groups of amazing talent are what made these shows so incredible. But it is telling when all of these amazing and classic shows have a common denominator and in some way Michael Schur certainly is that common denominator.